What is good YouTube, WarStu here with a video on Batman Gotham Knight. We're also going to talk about some Marvel Avengers as the whole roster for the current DLC which they are planning to bring out has actually been leaked it appears. So if you are new around here make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100,000 subscribe mark. I will be giving away something so darn special and we are getting pretty close to the number. The closer we get to it I reveal how freaking awesome this giveaway is going to be. So I've been covering the Batman content for about a year now but all of a sudden now that WB Montreal has actually revealed there is a Batman game every content creator every YouTuber under the sun has started to cover this topic original isn't it so let's get into it so a few days ago now as the time of recording this video w montreal teased redacted website which essentially is going to be the website where they're teasing everything to do with the next batman game going through the dc fandom event this up and coming weekend we will be covering a lot of stuff like that because this channel did start off with dc originally so each day they're going to tease some stuff it's pretty obvious that it is courts of owls people thinking that it's going to be called courts of owls no no chance so they've been teasing you know catch of the night since over a year ago now we were pretty much the first youtube channel to notice that mark monitor a software company in los angeles la registered gothamnights.com and then obviously that's the website that's going to go live. It is on whois.com. But yesterday they tweeted something different on their website, on Redacted and also on DB Montreal. It was a code 761. Then it essentially shows you a Gotham City map, which concurrently means it's definitely the Batman Arkham game, like your boy Wars Stu has been saying for such a long time. When I said the next Batman game will be revealed at DC Fandom event, and I also said the Suicide Squad game will be revealed then, but oh wait, the fake leaks. Guys, the DC fake leaks, over 40% of it so far has turned out to be true. So just go back and look at the DC video where we went over these fake leaks because most of it is turned out to be true. So it looks like it's going to have the villains of the Courts of Owls and because it's Gotham Knights, it insinuates a group with Batgirl, with Robin, with Nightwing. But we don't know how this is going to correlate because originally people thought this video game was going to be called Batman Arkham Legacy and at the end of the most recent Batman Arkham Knight game, he basically tends to kill himself. So Legacy would make sense. Goth I don't really like the title Gotham Knights, but it does imply that we will be getting something. And if you do go on the website, it's essentially a countdown straight through the DC fandom event. So as I am one of the people that have been covering this video game for such a long time, I thought I'd bring you this update. There realistically isn't much to monitor. You could zoom in on the picture and go, but it, it's just a teaser. I would have preferred them not to do this. I would have preferred to just have a straight reveal. Whatever happened to a good old reveal at an event and people freak out? That can't really happen anymore because of the way the internet is. But it is pretty cool. So you basically get access to level one on this website and it's essentially going to count down and more will be revealed every single day until DC Fandom event, it implies, so to speak. So, this game will be very different because it's not made from the same company that made Arkham Knight. They are making the Suicide Squad Just Killed the Justice League video game, which we also spoke about, which is interesting as they are going to be using an evil Superman, maybe a Bizarro, and maybe it could have some crossover with the Batman Arkham City video game, essentially. Maybe. But everything at the moment points to it being... Gotham Knights, Courts of Owls, Villain. There were a bunch of leaks, to be fair, we covered them all, and most of them seem like they are becoming pretty what somewhat true. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are supposed to be coming out around the 13th of November. There's the big Fortnite Batman event on the 22nd, so it's pretty clear that whatever this Batman game is, it's going to be coming out in the month of November, which is a very interesting month because you've got Cyberpunk 2077, you've got... Assassin Creed Valhalla, you've got Halo Inf oh, oh wait, Halo Inf Infinite got got delayed by a year, which pretty much means the Xbox Series X is taking a massive hit. So it's a very tight, compact month. But the Batman franchise, the Batman company, is that darn strong that it will literally sell out. 
There's realistically no plot leaks at the moment, but if you go by the Courts of Owls storyline in the Batman graphic novels, the Cape Crusader essentially uncovered a secret organization known as Talo. Talons and later the Parliament of Owls. So essentially if you've watched the Gotham TV show that was on Fox, you essentially know a lot of the kind of Ra's al Ghul villains and stuff which could appear in this video game. I just hope it isn't a generic game where you spend half the video game in a freaking tank because that was the most frustrating thing for me at least in the video game that was known as Batman Arkham Knight. Very good game but rock steady got some heat because you spent half the game in a tank. So let's also go over some Marvel Avengers DLC leaks which do sound interesting. We do know this video game is essentially going to be a story mode game because we played the beta then it's going to be an online game which they have to keep going and going because it's online. So essentially what is being said is the following characters will be revealed at some point in the video game. Captain Marvel, there's so many easter eggs you can't really have Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan without Captain Marvel, She-Hulk is a pretty, pretty prominent character, it's pretty clear that there is some partnership with Marvel Disney there because She-Hulk is a TV show that's going to Disney Plus, Kate Bishop which is interesting because Kate Bishop is also going to be in the Hawkeye TV show, they've recently revealed that Hawkeye is going to be DLC for this video game, War Machine also, but most of these, if, if you change the color palettes, War Machine could be very similar to Iron Man, so to speak, and also Peter Parker, which is going to be exclusive to the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, which is interesting, and both Frostbite and Riku, or Riku are X-Men, so maybe that means something that has been tested as Frostbite looks for marketplace it's a bunch of code test outfit three but there are references to miss marvel comics as well named frostbite as well so they're not sure so essentially someone came out with this and it's quite interesting we do know they will be revealing many different characters in this video game they've got to keep people's interest in the actual video game don't they also these names come up but they are they are pretty obvious ant-man Black Panther, T'Challa himself, so most likely they will have some Quantum Realm kind of war room in there, some part of Wakanda, Doctor Strange is in there as well, so maybe use the Quantum Realm or some kind of parallel universe. Falcon is also in there, Marvel, which is a really weird one because unless you're a Captain Marvel fan, Marvel isn't really that popular, so to speak. Mockingbird, Quake who she, I believe, was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Wasp, and Winter Soldier. As we know, as we said, Spider-Man is exclusive to PlayStation, but that does not mean that Xbox or PC will not get their own exclusives, which is very freaking interesting. So they are the leaks for the DLC, and these only came courtesy of the video game going onto PC. Basically, people got hold of the code, went through it, and I'm not going to take credit for that because I never take credit if the information is not coming from originally from me. This came from 4chan Reddit, so props to them. It's going to be a, it's going to be a hell of a show, isn't it, guys? So let me know. Are you excited for the reveal of the Batman game? Do you think it's Gotham Knights? But the website and who is does pretty much concurrently say that, but also Warner Bros. himself do own the Batman Arkham Legacy website as well. Are you excited for the Suicide Squad game? And also, are you going to be playing Marvel Avengers? There's a lot of entitled spoiled brats online. There really was. People moaning about motion blare, the 4K not being true 4K Navi. If you're a gamer, you're a gamer. The storyline seems pretty decent. If you are a Marvel Avengers fan, if you're a fan of the MCU, the storyline of video games does not have to be in 60 FPS 4K for a video game to be good. I've seen so many insubordinate little comments online about them trolling it. And fair, if that's what you want to do, but so far from the storyline, it seems in line with the MCU, so to speak. I personally think it's been going to be very good. I'm not like one of these generic YouTubers or content creators that write a script. I literally just start talking, guys. And my opinion is Marvel Avengers is good. Yes, the FPS drops online a bit when there's multiple enemies, but this is beta, and that's what beta is for. And I believe the changes can be made within the given time frame when it comes out in September. The online will always be changing and always been changing the code, always change. Yes, I've got a degree in computer science and I have done software engineering before. Before anyone says, War Studio, you can't code. Yes, I can actually code in, in Java Mobile, 
in iOS, HTML5, JavaScript, C++, C Sharp. Yeah, I can code literally in Unity for video. Yeah, I can code, guys. So I'm not one of these people just saying things can happen. Yeah, they can actually change some stuff. So over the past couple of days, they did kind of confirm something that War Stu already revealed such a long time ago when we went over the website that was registered for the Suicide Squad game. They've essentially titled it Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. They've officially put that because it's on the mandate, it's on the mantra, it's on the schedule for Rocksteady's announcement, Rocksteady's trailer reveal at DC Fun Day event. Luckily, we had the Batman game. It could be other stuff as well. It could be Injustice 3. At the start of the day, I think it's 1.30. And then the Justice League Suicide Squad game is going to be latter in the day. This is going to be pretty cool, but it, what's going to be more interesting is if Sony has tapped any of these up exclusively. Now we know from information online that PlayStation is really trying to get one year console exclusives to make you buy the next console. So it would be really interesting if either Xbox or Sony were like, yeah, the Batman game is exclusive to us for the first year. It would be game changers. Likewise, guys, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest video game news, movie news, literally pop culture news, TV show news, make sure to subscribe to this channel as we are one of the most consistent channels for uploading content. So like always guys, please check me out on Twitter, WarsTuG, check me out on Instagram, at WarsTu, Facebook, WarsTu page, and I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya, and later.